Welcome to Arkham Insider. For this week's intro, we've raided the mocap props cupboard again, and we're hitting the streets of next-gen Gotham. We're taking questions from the community, and at the end of the show, we'll even fire a question back at you with an exclusive giveaway. I'm here on the world's most comfortable couch with Adam Doherty, player code director at Rocksteady. Adam, welcome to Arkham Insider. Thanks, Gaz. Nice to be here. Adam, you've been working on the Arkham games since the very beginning, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, since the beginning. I think it was my first day was the day we started Arkham Asylum, bizarrely. So you are in charge of essentially all of Batman's movement and controls in all of the Arkham games? Yeah, that's right. All of Batman's gadgets, movement, gliding, navigation, that stuff. And obviously in this game, the Batmobile as well. So, so if anyone has ever thought that the Arkham games had great controls, you're the guy they should be sending the fan mail to. Thanks, guys. Adam Doherty, player code director, is absolutely the best person to take us on a glide through of next-gen Gotham City. So, Adam, why don't you take it away? OK, so we're starting up here on the top of Minister Studios. You can see the whole of Gotham skyline in the background. But let's just jump straight in. And you can dive straight into the dive boost, which is one little new feature that I find really nice. And this is much faster than you can in Arkham much City Much faster. Well. We've got diving from much, much bigger heights, so you get a lot more speed up. Uh, you can keep that glide going really fast. Uh, I'm going to the Chinatown area here. This is one of my favourite parts of this island. It's got that neon reflecting off wet asphalt. All the ambient lighting the, yeah. that, the, uh, that the team has worked so hard to here bring. Here we go, we got... All right, riot time! There's people just rioting. You see that guy chucking stuff at the window. That man doesn't like that. He has to protect his city, so... They are just terrified of the Dark Knight. Oh, brand new move, the special combo backlaw! Vaulting over there, nice! Throw counter, classic new move. So these fights can go in any number of ways. We've got maybe about 30 thugs here. These guys just minding their own business. Batman rolls in, fists of justice. Yeah, oh, and the slam, nice! So if you pick up a downed enemy, when well he's already KO, the big guy's gonna give him a little slam. And what are we finishing with? A beatdown with the wall takedown. We saw there that we kind of came in really hard. You can get all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can get big, big fights in the middle of the city. But let's let's just call in the Baton Bill. Let's see, it'll just come from wherever it is, come pick you up. Nice little burnout at the start here, can't resist doing that. And we're off into a boost. Okay, well one thing I like to do is we can use the, the speed of the baton wheel to really get a massive glide off. Retain all that forward momentum and get massive height off that. So if you want to go fast or high in a glide, the best way to do it is to cook the afterburner in the Batmobile. That's right, use, nice use that awesome power ride. and jump yourself up into the sky. I'll show you another new move we have here, which is like a 180 grapple boost. And That's that to flip 180, keep on going. For changing direction quickly, right? You see something you want to see? Hit that reverse grapple. Okay, so we have to GCPD now. Yeah, let's check out GCPD. We're bringing the baton reel again. You see all those rioters, they're, they're pretty terrified of the baton reel. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, a terrifying car, right? It is. And we built it to be that way, and Batman built it to be that way. It's as much of a symbol as he is, right? Yeah, so here we are, down into GCPD. Uh, this is the, uh, the big sort of secure lock-up car park. So this is where the GCPD themselves are, are hunkered down for the events of Arkham Knight, right? That's right. This is kind of the last stronghold they, they still have in the city. They've basically lost control of the streets. There's rioting and thugs everywhere. Let's head straight into the holding cells. Um, so here we are in the, in the GCPD lockup. Uh, over the night, uh, you'll see all the, all the villains you catch, all the criminals you catch sort of start to turn up here. So these uh -huh. guys taken out earlier. You and all your friends. More of them in here. I recognise this guy. So this is the guy who's featured in the Officer Down trailer, right? That's right. Ooh, shouldn't have messed with the Batman. Thanks, Adam. That was Next Gen Gotham. One of the best things about working on Arkham Insider is finding out what you on the community want to know about the game. And that's why we do these questions. Everyone who gets their question answered today will win one of these snazzy t-shirts as modelled by Ian Ball, our lead designer. First question comes from Joker Gas. Ian, what's new with Detective Mode? Detective Mode has been totally overhauled for Arkham Knight. It's now been incorporated into the Batmobile as well as Batman's cowl. The Batmobile has got a forensic scanner which Batman can use to track enemy tire trails through the city. He can then follow them in the Batmobile, sending out these pulses 
and take down the people inside. And bring them to justice. Next question comes from Lewis0117 who asks, have all the main villains been announced or is there plenty of surprises still awaiting? Well, we've announced a lot so far. We've got Harley. Uh, Riddler. Penguin. Two-Face. Poison Ivy. Uh, Firefly. Uh, Scarecrow. The Arkham Knight. There's still a lot more to come. Well, Ian, I think they still want more. I'll see what I can do. All right. Next question from DC Dat Kid asks, will Arkham Knight's story be the longest one ever made? This is the longest Arkham game we've ever made. The main story is longer than anything we've done before. The side stories are bigger. The whole production value is bigger. We've worked on it for like almost four years now. It's the biggest thing we've ever made. Next question via Twitter from Omar A. Vargas asks, this is my dream car right now. What will be the price for this beautiful car? Let's see what the Arkham Knight's got to say about that. Get ready. You got a billion dollar tank headed straight for you. Next question from Shadow Dash in the forums asks, now that we have Arkham Insider, when are we going to get Arkham Outsider? Well, I guess Arkham Outsider is what the community does when they play the game, right? And that's what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting to release this game for so long. We've been working on it for almost four years. And we can't wait to see how people enjoy playing that game. Well, that's right. You know, we want to see you guys up on YouTube, on Twitch, telling us what you're doing with the game, showing us how you're playing, showing your reactions, and showing us how you guys are being the Batman. If you're lying, I'll break the other one. The other one! Time for a giveaway. The guys at DC Collectibles have sent us these awesome Batman Arkham Knight figurines. We've got the Dark Knight himself in his new Arkham Knight Batsuit, plus we've got Scarecrow as he appears in the game behind me. But that's not all. Nvidia have sent us these GTX 960 graphics cards. You'll also have the chance to win one of those. Oh, and it wouldn't be an episode of Arkham Insider without these snazzy limited edition t-shirts. How are you going to win all this stuff? Well, on a previous episode of Arkham Insider, a member of the Rocksteady team wore this uniquely designed Arkham badge. If you can tell us who it was and what episode it was in via Twitter on the hashtag Arkham Insider, you'll be in with a chance of winning. We'll announce the winners on next week's show, and until then, be the Batman.